welcome to apostolic I mean radical moment of recovery. I'm with Matthew as here. Today I want to preach a very powerful and revelational message. I titled, Go Bloody. If you want to recover from the devil, then go with blood. Make the battle bloody and the devil will vacate. Make the battle bloody. My beloved, you don't need to go to the devil and compromise with him. You don't need to smile with the devil. You don't need to go playing with the devil. Go with blood and the devil will run and look for where to hide. Hallelujah. I am not talking about the blood of bull. Neither am I talking about the blood of goat. But I'm talking about the blood of Jesus. Go into the strong man house with the blood of Jesus and the enemy will bow and you will recover your goods. Because the blood of Jesus is still as powerful as what it has been 2,000 years ago. The blood of Jesus is a weapon. Go with blood. Let the battle be bloody and you will overcome the enemies. Let's go to the scripture. Hallelujah. Revelation 12, 11. I read. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved all their lives unto the death. Beloved, the only weapon that the scripture has given to us right here is the blood of the Lamb. That is the blood of Jesus. Sprinkle the blood. Satan will run and look for where to hide. And you will recover all that belongs to you. Hallelujah. Mm, let me stop here and open your eyes to the power and importance of the blood. Hear me? Until the spilling of the blood of the firstborn. In Egypt, Pharaoh was never ready to release Israel. Pharaoh was stubborn. And in one night, Israel recovered all. Israel recovered everything in one day that the Egyptians took from them for 430 years. Hallelujah. My beloved, blood is powerful. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, verse 11, we read there, for the life of a creature is in the blood. And I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. That's what it is. Hear me? You cannot compare other sacrifice to blood sacrifice. So the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary became the superior sacrifice for me and for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear this again. The highest covenant is blood covenant. Hear this. Present the blood of Jesus and the enemy will bow. In the book of Hebrew 9, 22, I read, and almost all things are by law purged with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission. So blood sacrifice is powerful sacrifice. Present the blood, make the battle bloody and the enemy will, will look for an escape route and will run away. Even before Jesus came, the Israelites were making sacrifices of blood and throwing it, it on the altar. But luckily, the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the earth eradicated the daily difference of blood being thrown on the altar to atone for our sins because Jesus became our sin atonement for us through the shedding of his blood. No other blood that is needed. Go to battle with the devil. You want to recover from him. Don't go compromising. Don't go laughing with him. Don't go playing with him. Go with the blood of Jesus and you'll recover. All he has taken from you. Ah, beloved. Enter into a strong man's house with the blood of Jesus. And the devil will bow. His blood became the final blood sacrifice needed for atonement. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of the Abel. No other sacrifice. Can
can be greater than the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Beloved, we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb. When you present the blood of Jesus, you become an overcomer. Hallelujah. So go with blood. Make the battle bloody because the blood of Christ is a weapon. Hallelujah. Because of time, let me open your eyes to something. There are three problems the blood of Jesus can solve. Three problems the blood of Jesus can solve. Number one, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sins. First John 1 7. You read that by yourself at all. Number two, the blood of Jesus purifies our conscience. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 17. Read that at all. Number three, <laughs> we overcome Satan because of the blood of Jesus. Revelation 12, 11. Listen to me. Make the battle bloody and Satan will back out. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Present blood. Blood sacrifice is powerful. Hallelujah, my beloved. The king of Moab went for battle with 700 men that can draw sword against Israel. He went for battle. And at the point, the battle became very fierce. Hallelujah. And the king of Moab took his person that was to rule in his state and sacrificed his person. And the scripture says, and there was indignation against Israel. That is how powerful blood sacrifice can be. Here it is. God is love. The greatest expression of his love toward us is the blood, the giving of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of the blood of Jesus has provided everything you need to live a life of victory, including redemption, fellowship, healing, protection, authority over the devil. Hear this. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. I read, for if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sin. There is no more sacrifice that can be given that is higher than the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Beloved, take the blood of Jesus by faith and plead the blood of Jesus against your enemies. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus on everything that have to do with you. Drink the blood of Jesus. During communion service, we have the wine after being blessed, becoming the blood, drink it and you will experience, you will receive healing. Wash in the ocean of the blood. Wash everything by the blood. Hallelujah. Dip yourself into the ocean of the blood and you will stand out. Satan can't stand the blood of Jesus. So go bloody. Make the battle bloody and the enemy will bow. Beloved, we are still in the season of apostolic radical recovery. Swore. And I see you recovering your health. I see you recovering your ministry. I see you recovering your business. I see you recovering your marriage. I see you recovering your children. I see you recovering your finances. I see you recovering mentally and otherwise. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. My beloved, we are still in our season of apostolic radical recovery. So, and so you must recover everything the enemies have stolen from you. Let me run it up here today till I come back again. But if you have had me and you have not given your life to Jesus, I am giving you an opportunity to do that now. Say after me, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. My name is Matthew Asiyan, the leader and commander of Apostolic Army International. My beloved, support Apostolic Army, pray for Apostolic Army, partner with Apostolic Army, because Apostolic Army is the end time army that God has sent into this world to bring soul into the kingdom. Above all, worship in Apostolic Army every Sunday, and you will not regret it. Hear me, always reach me on plus 234-811-0020505. Call me for prayer, call me for counseling, I will pray for you. And don't forget, Apostolic Army, we are dogged and rocket. We are tested and trusted. Apostolic Army, we believe in action. Apostolic Army, we confront and we conquer. Apostolic Army, we fear no foe. Wash with us this Sunday. And the Lord will give you victory over the power of hell. And you will recover all the enemies have stolen from you. In Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen.